In this short video tutorial, we are going to take a closer look at working with focused inboxes and some basic filtering of your emails within your Outlook Online inbox. Now, I've logged into my Outlook Online test account here, so there's nothing confidential or anything I don't want you to see here, but it's basically just an account that I use for these training videos, and it is full of lots of different emails. So within the inbox here, we have a whole host of emails, 23 of which are unread. So those are the ones that are highlighted in bold or with this line down the side. Now within Outlook, most people are used to working with a standard inbox like this. So the email will come into your inbox and it will be visible here. When you click on the email like this, you will read the email and then you can either mark it as read and it will lose its um, highlights or it will automatically do this sometimes as you move to the next email. Sometimes though, some of your emails will go into the junk email folder. So basically, Microsoft will move things into here if it deems it to be spam, depending on the spam filter that's set up, or if you have purposely moved an email to junk mail, it will go in there. But if you don't change any settings and set up any rules, then that's the kind of traditional setup that you'll find on your account. Now, some users will have focused or other inboxes within their inbox set up by default. If you do not have that on, but you want to start working with focused or other, then what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the settings cog at the top right, and from email and layout, you're going to click on under focused inbox, this option here, sort messages into focused or other. What will happen here is it's not going to create a new inbox for you, but when we save and close this down, you will see that within our inbox, we now have two folders here. So it separates your messages in your inbox between focused and other. Now to explain this, other is where it will put messages which are maybe general promotional emails, adverts, that sort of thing. And focused is largely going to be emails from people that you liaise with frequently, perhaps email addresses or senders that you are in contact with, that you send emails to or receive, they will go into focused. Now what happens initially is Outlook will try to learn who you are working with, who you're liaising with, and who you receive emails from and who you reply to, and it will try to guess over time whether that email when it's received should go, it should go into focused or should go into other. What you can do though is you can help by directing Outlook. So you can say emails from this particular sender I want to go into focused or emails from the sender I want to go into other. It will try to work this out itself but you can give it a little helping hand to make sure that the emails that you want to go into focused will go there when they are received. So let's take a little look at our other folder and you'll see I've got lots and lots of emails in here from Instagram. Now if I click on one, you'll see this is from Instagram on Instagram and the address is no reply at mail.instagram.com. If this is a sender email address I want to move into focused just now, then what I can do is I can right click and say, okay, I want this email to go into focused. So I'm going to click on move and I'm going to use this one that says move to focused inbox. What will happen is that particular email will jump from other into my focused folder within the inbox. And there it is there. Now that has worked just because we've selected one email and moved it across. If I go to other, let's say we wanted to move two or three at the same time, we could use the check options like this. And then we could use the move option at the top here. And this time we could go move to focused inbox or we could right click move and we could choose move to focus inbox from here. And those three emails will now be moved into focus just like this. So moving things from focus from the other folder is really simple. And if you want to move any emails back, it's a case of right clicking within focused, going back to move and you can pop it back into other inbox. And that one has now been moved back into here. When, however, you want to set Outlook up so that it automatically moves emails when they're received into those folders, you need to use a slightly different option. So you could set up a rule that says, when I receive an email from Instagram under this address, I want you to move it to whichever folder. But if you're wanting to move it specifically from other in the future to focused, what you can do is within other, you can right click on the email, you can go to move, 
but this time instead of using move to focused inbox, which is just going to move that one email to focused, we're going to use always move to focused. And you'll see when you select this option, it actually asks you, okay, do you want to move all messages from no reply into focused? So in this case, I'm going to say okay. And what it's going to do here, it's going to take all of these emails here, which have come from that particular address and live in other, and it's actually going to move all of those into focused. And then in the future, it's going to put any emails from that address into focus because it has learned this. So we'll go to OK. And from our other folder, it's going to work through all of those emails. And you'll see, in fact, every single email in other was from that one account. And it now moves them into focused. In the same way, we can right click on an email which is living in focused and we can move it and say, well, actually, let's always move those to the other inbox because you, Microsoft, have moved a couple of emails into Focus, but you've not quite got it right. And in the future, I would rather they went into Other. So we say always move to Other, and this time we say OK. They're now going to be taken out of Focus, and they're going to be dropped into the Other folder. So personally, I actually don't like using Focus or Other. I prefer just to work with a standard inbox and then move emails around as and when they come in because I don't think Microsoft always gets it right. However, if you use this frequently and you teach it, then over time it will get it right. And if you use the right click option with move and either use move to other or move to focus or always move to other or always move to focus inbox, then it's going to learn and it's going to do it for you and get it right pretty much most of the time. Now let's say for example, you've decided actually I don't want to work with this or my account is set up with focused inbox and I don't like it. All you need to do is you can go to the view menu this time and you can go to view settings and it takes you to the same settings menu where you can choose email, layout, and this time we're going to choose don't sort my messages and hit save. And then you will see when I close this down, we're back to where we were at the beginning. Now that we've looked at focused and other, let's look at some basic filters that you can apply to your inbox. And these will work in inbox mode like this or using the focused or other. And they'll just help you to manage those emails a little bit easier. So you will see at the top here, the first one we have is by date. This is a sort. You can click on here and you can choose to sort your emails by who they come from. So for example, you'll see here, we now have Adobe on Instagram. We've got Andy Todd. Then we've got graphic design blog on Instagram and it's basically taking the sender name and grouping all of the emails by sender name. You can do it by category if you set up your categories. In this account, I've got no categories set up, they all come under none. Or you can even do things like by the um, date. So the traditional setup here. And then you'll notice at the bottom, you can sort by oldest, which takes me all the way back to last year, or we can do it by newest, which is one of the default settings. As well as that though, you can also use this little filter option here. So you can say, I only want to see emails which are currently unread. So you will see here, if we mark them as unread, then we are able to see only emails we haven't yet opened up. And what I like about Outlook is it breaks them down into these months. So if we want to remove that filter, we simply click here and it takes us back to viewing unread and read. But you will see here we have yesterday, we've got May, April, and then we've got an older group there. So we can expand these to see just the emails from May, just the emails from April, which saves us having to run a search up here. And we can also go into filter here and we can filter by things like any emails that are flagged. So if I go down to this email from April and I'm just gonna put a little flag on it, then you will see if I filter by flagged, everything else is hidden and we just see the flagged email here, which I can right click and unflag. And then we can remove that filter and we're back to seeing everything. So of course there are lots of different things you can do with your inbox to help organize your emails. But I think working with the focused and the other folders will be quite useful to some of you. And if you decide that you don't want to use those and you want to just work with a standard inbox like I have here, then at least getting used to using these sorting and filtering options at the top can make managing an inbox full of emails just that little bit easier. Hopefully you have found this video to be useful. If you have, please hit that like button. 
be sure to subscribe to the channel please to show your support and make sure you check out the other video tutorials I have of which there are over about 300 on this channel. If you have any comments, questions or observations, drop them in the comments area below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.